Hello again, it is Friday and that means it's an FNA Friday. It's actually Friday evening and it's really hot in this office. It's so hot. Actually, the heat is my enemy. It's my conflict. And that is the topic today. We're gonna to talk about conflict and how I love conflict. not really I don't really love conflict but the thing is I've talked about how an environment can make your animation better I talked about how you can escalate things where you have things happen to the character and so on and so on so the different ways of how you can make a shot more interesting but one of the ways that makes it more interesting in terms of learning more about your character is to give your character a problem a, an obstacle or a conflict to overcome so conflict to me is really important because as i said in a previous example in the clip way way back is that if you have your puppy on fire and then you have your computer on fire with all your animation work which one are you going to save and it's the computer no it's the puppy of course but whatever choice the character will make is going to be interesting so either you're going to go like oh that's a good character i can i can see why he or she would do that or like, how dare that character do this? This is horrible. It could be a hero or a villain, but whatever problem or conflict the character is facing, the character has to make a choice. They have to make a choice to fix that problem, to overcome that conflict. And the choices will tell us something more about the character. Or if I want to quote Robert McKee from his book, Story, he says, true character is revealed in the choices a human being makes under pressure. The greater the pressure, the deeper the revelation, the truer the choice to the character's essential nature. So yeah, that sounds a lot smarter than when I say it, but yeah. So in previous examples, I showed the kid who had had to push the garbage can and it was so much wind that it was blowing him away and it was just very very difficult and that conflict that problem that well there's so much wind kind of showed us how determined he was he really wanted to do this he didn't give up same thing with the news person who was trying to talk about world news and the family and the kids are in the background and that was kind of the, his problem that he had to overcome and as an audience it's just interesting to see this is happening to this person so you're wondering how is he going to get out of this how is he going to react and it's, it's just it's just more engaging it's just more interesting to watch so today's example to illustrate the conflict that is interesting at least to me in shots that you could animate is this clip where a kid is on the far left he's the main character and you can see they're all playing and he is very 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 concentrated she yeah yeah she looks somewhere she does her job and he's also pretty really concentrated and this goes on and on and on and i have a link in the description so you can see the whole thing i'm gonna scrub forward and now as conveniently the cameraman zooms in here you can see pay attention to the left person this instrument falls down it is great it's great i love it i love how he has to look at the reaction of this kid is so good too you have the event happening on the left he looks over but he stays put continues super serious super serious continues he has practiced this for months i think he has a little bit of a smirk you'll see it later but i'm not going to spoil it just yet and then you can see her so again during the whole event she has that expression here because whoa what's going on <laughs> a little bit of a smile she think it's funny oh she continues they all continue but i like the contrast he's kind of lost he's super serious she just thinks yeah it's great why not let's keep going so that is the conflict and as an artist i'm going well, what is he going to do all eyes are on him he doesn't have the instrument he's gonna stand there what is he going to do so as you look at him now what is his choice going to be he salutes and of course she thinks it's awesome he breaks character for a moment but well, then it gets back to being serious. And the awesome thing is that he continues. This all continues and it's awesome. Everybody thinks it's funny, it's great. And he continues and stays put and the shot continues and so on and so on. Again, I'll link in the description, you can watch the whole thing. But this is so good. So imagine you have a shot where potentially the assignment is a character plays an instrument. And if you would do this, unless it's a very interesting way of playing the instrument and just going through the motion, which could be interesting, imagine, or you can ask your teacher or your mentor, whatever your situation is, you can say, well, could I potentially introduce a problem? Could I introduce a conflict? Can something happen to that character? The assignment is still playing an instrument and I'm doing this, but at the same time, 
I'm having something happen to the character so that the audience can see, well, what kind of person is this? Are they going to run away because they're embarrassed? Are they going to salute like him and it's going to be awesome? So whatever choices the character is going to make is going to be cool for the audience to watch. And it gives you an opportunity to do more than just body mechanics, just movement. You can reveal character and your acting choices and also your sense of humor, your sense of entertainment. I think it all helps to kind of embellish and further explore a shot and a character in your scene. And the conflict doesn't have to be massive. It could be just something small, just to give it a little bit of extra, extra oomph, something more interesting, or it could be something a bit more elaborate, like way, way back when I showed the clip from the innkeepers, where she was trying to put the garbage into the garbage container and it doesn't work. And it's that little moment of where she puts it up and she tries a bit longer, just those couple frames where it's not just I'm trying and it failed, but I'm trying and it's clearly not gonna work. But she tries anyway and she holds on to that moment, again, revealing something about the character. And you can do this with humans, you can do this with animals. What's the animal going to do to get to his streets? Maybe my dog, he wants to get a little biscuit, but something is in the middle and, and interrupts his quest to the food. So what is he going to do? So you can apply this to creatures, to humans, but I think this could be an interesting thing, an interesting layer, one more thing to give your shot, just something, a little bit of a twist, some more interest, so it's not just pure movement or pure body mechanics, which again, I always say, you can totally do, it's totally valid, it's a great assignment, but all by examples that are bringing up here and in previous movies is how you wanna take the shot a step further, just to, reveal a bit more about your character because it is character animation at, in, at the end of the day and not just animation. You don't want to just animate for animation's sake. You want to give this a bit more character. Unless character is absolutely not your objective and it's totally different. Of course, of course, of course, I'm just saying if you're after character, this could be something of interest. If you have any other examples, if you have anything on YouTube or wherever, comment, let me know, send me a link. That would be awesome so I can collect these for further examples and show that in my classes. So kind of a short and sweet, but I think an important step in terms of all of your preparations. Is it an environment that can help your acting? Is it a conflict that helps your acting? There are all those things that I would think about as you plan your shot and as you shoot reference and just gather all the information, all the inspiration for your shot before you actually start blocking things out, which probably is going to be next week's topic, how to properly block out a shot. And in the future weeks, we're going to get into more of the nitty gritty and the animation side of attacking a shot, the technique, the workflow, and so on. So that's coming up in future FNAs. And of course, if you like this, give this a like. If you want to subscribe, do so. I will not say no, because if you subscribe and hit the bell button, you're going to get notifications about all the uploads, of course. And if you watch the whole thing till the very end, I appreciate it. I think it's awesome, especially during very, very hot summer nights. You could do something else, but no, you are watching this clip and I'm not going to continue on because it's already too long because it's the end. So thank you very much and I will see you next week.